When and where do we learn what's normal and what isn't? I'm currently in a master's program at the Harvard School of Education, and I want to talk about this concept of a hidden curriculum in schools as well as workplaces. In the 1960s, sociologists started to document how the standardized ways we structure our schools had these implicit socialization goals for its students. This hidden curriculum are messages around norms, values, and behaviors that are appropriate for our society. They often reinforce dominant narratives of power like white centering, heteronormativity, and classism. What does this look like in practice? Well, when my teacher insists on using my English middle name instead of my Chinese first name because it's too hard for her, it sends a signal to all the other students that the convenience and comfort of the dominant class is a lot more important than culturally affirming my identity or my individualism. When girls and boys are separated at break times because they might distract each other by flirting, not only does this establish a gender binary, it also creates this idea that flirting is always heterosexual. So in that context, no interaction I have with another girl can be romantic. Let's look at culinary schools. If we spend months studying French food, but only a few days in China and skip the entire continent of Africa, that sends a pretty clear message what cuisines matter and what sort of knowledge is important for a real chef. So what can we do about the current hidden curriculum? Well, first, we have to name it. Now that you have the vocabulary to describe what you've seen play out in educational settings and at the workplace, you can express why it's so harmful and advocate for change. Make sure to follow for more takeaways from the Harvard Ed School.